review of SummerSlam 2006. Yeah! Yeah! And by the way, this one's going to be special because I'm going to do two SummerSlams on this one video. Okay, let's get started. We got the, um... First match, which is Rey Mysterio versus Chavo Guerrero. Good match. Vicky interfered. Um, that gave gave Chavo that gave Chavo the win. Okay, and then next we have the Extreme Rules match: Sabu versus uh, Big Show. Oh, I forgot. Um, it was for the Easy to Review Championship. So, it was, um, oh, it was, um, Sab no, Sabu lost because, uh, he got choke slammed through a table, which was on the steel steps, yeah. And then we have the, a legend killer versus legend, uh, which the legend was Hulk Hogan, legend killer was, um, Oh, Randy Orton at the time. It w so basically, um, I think R Randy won, but I'm not sure. Because I haven't watched this in a long time. Oh, uh, next we have the, um, uh, I forgot something. Before we had the, um, we had the, um, uh, Okay, and then after we have a Mali Mickey and Molina in the locker room talking about, like, what they're going to do. And then next we have the I Quit match, which was on what? Which was a good match, which we saw. And by the way, this match, this pay per view had SmackDown on ECW on it. Okay, so, he won, basically, so, no, 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 Rick, Rick Flay won because he made Mick Foley say, I quit, and there was blood all over, uh, Flay's face, oh, no, I meant, um, stuff, stuff red stuff, cool it, and then, next we have, um, the, uh, World Heavyweight Championship, which was, by SmackDown, which was Team Booker versus Batista, which, but uh, Team Booker won. Okay, and then next we had uh, uh, DJ Lashek versus McMahon, since Shane McMahon. Oh, whoa. whoa. That match, I thought it was pretty bad, because, like, like, so we got good action, but, like, all of a sudden, when, like, the McMahons are supposed to come out, um, okay, like, other superstars who were on the match, no, no, no some, some were not, but, like, some of them came out for the match. Okay, and then, oh, and then we had, no, during the match, like, it was, like, Umaga who interfered, and then all of a sudden, we hear the big red monsters, a uh, big red monster of WWE scene came, and he brought Umaga somewhere. And then we had the next match after this would be the Edge versus John Cena for the WWE Championship and Edge would win this and then later it would become the way they are superstar no rated are so basically it used to be spinner belt John Cena used to have the spinner belt so it used to be so it was like the way they are spinner belt which that's in one of the games WWE games and now on to the two thousand. 
Oh, I forgot. Um, thousand three. Oh, great. There goes one. Was, oh, that's okay. So, as I was saying, welcome to Saint Anger. Okay, and then I forgot who's no, uh, this one was Metallica Godsmack Enemy. The one I just said was 2006. I'm gonna 2006. Was Godsmack Enemy. And then, uh, next would be SummerSlam. With, uh, Metallica singing Saint Anger, I think? Yeah, Saint Anger. Okay, what? And then we got, yeah, Saint Anger. Okay, and then we had, basically, we started off with no one saying Saint Anger, but it was like on the paper. Okay, first match we had Lily. No, so first we had Lily and Garcia singing the national anthem. So one sec, I'll be doing something. So I view here my my fan on because I was like doing stuff. I did stuff on my bed. Okay, so as I was saying, we had the, so the first thing that we had on this show was. Um, the, that, this song I'm playing right now. Okay, so, Say Anger by Metallica. So we had Metallica not seeing it live there, unlike, um, WrestleMania 15, where, no, I meant 14, um, because in real life, WrestleMania 14, that was, the DX band and um so uh after this I'll record this mini part two that will get you caught up. Okay, so let's continue with So first match we had was, um, no, first we had Lenny Garcia and Sting the National Anthem, and then we had, uh, the World Tag Team Champions Love Resistance versus the Dudley Boys Love Resistance one because they had a cameraman that hit him. Yeah, that hit him. Hit one of the guys. And then we had... Uh, Undertaker vs. A-Train, a.k.a. Under no, Albert, I mean, a.k.a. Albert, A-Train's Albert, he was, oh, never mind, never mind. And then we had, uh, Shane McMahon vs. Eric Bischoff. Um, pretty good match, we had the Coast to Coast, and then, so basically, so basically, he's, the guy said, can't touch him. Sorry, guys. So one of the guys said you can't touch him, and all of a sudden, he got coach. So basically, he slapped Jimmy McMahon slapped coach and said it hit Austin. So he he did the so he did the he did the something. To him. He did something to him. Like no, he uh. Stunned him, and then he touched, and then he flopped it against um Eric Bischoff. Yeah, then he flopped it against Eric Bischoff, and then he stunned him. Okay, and then next we have um the fatal four way for the United U.S. Championship: Aguero, Ch uh, Chris Benoit, Jerry Rhino. Basically, uh, Eddie Guerrero won. His championship back, and then we have next we got the WWE Championship match, which was a, a rematch from one of the WrestleManias. 
that was like it was like the one where he it was the one I know what his phone but no it's the one where like the like they had their famous wrestling match okay and then we had the Falls Count Anyway match which was Kane and RVD I believe Kane won it okay and then last we had the Elimination Chamber match, which was excellent. Even though, like, the Elimination Chamber didn't appear at SummerSlam, it actually appeared at Survivor Series? Yeah, it appeared at Survivor Series. But the Elimination Chamber match in this thing was excellent. We saw, um... Gold... Yeah, we saw Goldberg, um... Basically, we saw Goldberg uh, delivering a gore, no, or uh, a spear. Str we saw Goldberg delivering a spear to Chris Jericho through the glass of the steel cage. Oh my god. Yeah, and then we saw, uh, what did we also see? Um, oh, I forgot to mention who was it. Triple H, uh, Chris Jericho, Shawn Michaels, Goldberg, Kevin Ash, and Ryan Neal. And then all of a sudden, Triple H won. I was like, how the heck did you manage to build up this guy in WCW? But no, they had to put him down. Come on! The police think like WCW would. I'm wondering what my next pay-per-view on the SummerSlam anthology should be. Hmm. 2004? Which one? I want you guys to comment down a year from 2007 to 19... Uh, 9... Uh... 1998. So I want you guys to comment down a year from 2007 to 1998. So any year between 2007 and 2000, 1998, I can do. No, I did 1998. I did 1980, 1980, 1988 too. I did 2006. And I did 2003. So guys, I want you to calm down which pay-per-view I should do next. Um, by the way, I'll start doing, uh, ECW Loves New York thing. Which I'm possibly going to record that. I'm going to do my predictions of it, like, after this. Bye!